Yeah. Okay. This is what the law stipulates. The cross-examination. Let's start the, the cross-examination sequence which appertains in a court of law is governed, I think, by section 127. And amongst others, it is discretional upon the presiding officer as to the sequential cross-examination which is going to be exercised by various counsel in a particular case like this one has to abide by the prescripts as to how the accused before court are being cited after being charged. In other words, lack of a better word, if Mr. Sabia, as he is, is accused number one, his counsel is expected after each and every witness to be the first to cross-examine the state witness who has <clears throat> given that evidence. But these procedures are not immutable. They are not cast in stone. They can be modified, added to, if special circumstances arise, like in this case. This case started before this court in, Gen in July 2023, but previously my colleague was involved in this case, Judge Maumela, who had to recuse himself after being incapacitated physically. So I am aware that the allegations also arise against the accused as on the during October 2014, about 10 years ago, this court will not go into the history of this trial, but for various reasons, <coughs> the actual concourse of this trial only began, I think, in 2009, 19, is that so? 2019 before Mr. Maumela. Yeah, well, um, before Judge Maumela, it was the first appearance yeah. was in February 2022. Okay, yeah, right. Yes. So that was the initial appearance of the accused before this court. So I am of the view that uh, because of the history of this case and because of the incapacity, which I believe is temporary of Mr. Mgomezul, these aspects constitute special extraordinary circumstances which may allow this court to accede to the request by Mr. Mugumezulu and his client that uh, Mr. Mugumezulu will keep himself apprised of the proceedings in this case as he has always been doing and he will keep in contact with advocate Momalo, who has volunteered to assist accused number one and Mr. Mgomezu. The overriding aspect is that no other accused should suffer prejudice in this trial as a result of the arrangements which this court is agreeing to as requested by Mr. Mgomezulu and his client, because the court is enjoined in terms of Section 35 of the Constitution to a court an accused and his counsel or attorney 
a fair trial as described <coughs> in our constitution by amongst others a retired judge of, a, of a, the constitutional court Johan Krichler in the case of uh, the Attorney General of the Cape versus Key, which is a constitutional case, which is seminal in my view in defining the aspects which we all refer to as a fair trial. And I'm also consoled by the fact that there is no apparent conflict of interest amongst the accused and their counsels regarding the charges facing the accused. The accused are facing five charges. Neither with the application of Section 51, one of the Criminal Procedure Act, robbery, also with the applicability of Section 51, one, possession of a firearm, and also attempted murder with the applicable Section 51, one, also being there and possession of ammunition. And further, the accused are also charged jointly with the allegation that they allegedly committed these offenses in pursuance of a common purpose. So consequently, the owners of, the owners of proof which rests on the state to prove its case beyond a reasonable doubt is not delineated differently from either of the accused. The state has to prove those charges with the application of uh, the doctrine of common purpose. All five accused also reserved their rights in terms of Section 30 of the Constitution not to disclose the basis of their defense. Consequently, as I say, up to this stage, up to this stage, it cannot be cogently argued that uh, the accused, any of the accused or counsel, with regard to the arrangements which this court is succeeding to about the health of Mr. Mgomezulu, that there has been a conflict of interest or there has been a denial of the concept of a free trial which must appertain to all the accused before court. Consequently then, that application is granted.